Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna be showing you some tips and tricks on how to make any lipstick transfer proof because you know it is kind of annoying when you have a lipstick you love the color but then it just smudges everywhere on cups everything and it just doesn't last as long so i'm gonna show you that in this video so if ever you want to see all the tips and tricks make sure to watch all the way to the end and make sure to subscribe to my channel for a whole lot of content every single week on beauty lifestyle and more so let's get into it so i already have my little lipstick applied that is a beautiful kind of like orangey red with burnt with a burnt red lip liner around so it's very beautiful the only thing that is annoying is as you can see it transfer a lot on the cup on the glasses everything and when you're drinking eating throughout the day what happens is that the lipstick is just gonna go away and you're not gonna have as much color so we're gonna have to deal with that little thingy so it just doesn't happen so the first tip and trick that i can give you is of course to take a lip primer and to apply it on your lips before applying your lipstick so this one is the prep and prime lip primer from mac cosmetics this is my favorite that i absolutely love um it is like this and it gets your uh, lipstick a little bit sticky you know like you apply it on your lips it gets sticky and it's like a beautiful base for the pigment to really hold onto your lips and it's going to make sure that it it is also true to the color so the pigment is going to be brighter if you have a lip primer than if you just don't apply anything so you could technically uh, put a balm and then just wait around while you're doing the rest of your makeup it's, it's not going to be as good as if you had this lip primer that has a sticky base to it and plus it's really hydrating to the lips for all all day long wear so every obviously the second step is you take your lip liner um you put it around to really define you know around your lips before putting your lipstick it's gonna add longevity to your lipstick it's not gonna run down it's really made to line the lips and you can also put this all over the lip before applying your lipstick so it's gonna add like another layer of longevity to your lipstick so me i just like to go around and then to fill in with a lipstick so of course you could take a lipstick that already has let's say a lot of longevity to it for example i love mac cosmetics lipsticks they have a lot of longevity so the matte ones um but that's not what I wore today. <laughs> but these ones are really, really good. If not, you have the Pat McGrath Labs lipsticks that are really, really good. Also, uh, the Armani Beauty lipsticks. There's a lot of different lipsticks that have a lot of longevity to it. But it's still going to transfer. So after applying, you're like, ooh, cute. You have all your lipstick, everything. It's still going to transfer, right? So you want to avoid this. My ultimate trick to make sure that nothing's gonna transfer is a setting powder, a translucent setting powder. And this one is so beautiful, it works so well. It is the MAC Prepless Prime Transparent Finishing Powder um, and it just works amazing. So I'm gonna show you how I apply it on my lips. So as you can see, there's a little bit of shine and it works just as great if you want a shiny lipstick to become a matte lipstick. This is going to put it matte and just it's going to last all day long. So I'm going to show you what I do. So then I'm going to take like an eyeshadow brush and then just dip it a tiny, tiny bit in it, removing the excess. So there's just a tiny bit of setting powder on top of it. We don't want to put too much because... Even if it's transparent, you still want it to blend perfectly with your lipstick so it doesn't leave like a weird white cast. So, all right, so you can see already it is a truly matte on the bottom and then at the top, there's a little bit of shine left. Truly matte. And it's important to press it into the lips. And it's a red lipstick, so I'm showing you because you're like, oh my God, like if you try to blend it, it's gonna go on your foundation, but no. It's not gonna go on your foundation. It's just, you just pat in motions always. And don't be shy with the powder either, you know, like you just wanna go straight into it. So then we have the side here that doesn't have anything. And there you go. Like the least, the less powder you're gonna put, the more transfer it's gonna do, you know. Uh, but the more powder you put, the less transfer there's gonna be. So 
if you put just a teeny tiny bit, it's not gonna remove the transfer all the way. Um, of course, it's gonna dry out a little bit the lipstick, you know, you're gonna feel a little bit drier, everything. But the good thing is that if you put the lip primer and if you put lip, tre lip treatments before, it's not gonna transfer as much or it's just really gonna remove the transfer all the way through. So this is an amazing trick if you are looking to have a, you know, you're looking for a color, you're like, you have a color, it's a shiny lipstick, you're like, I wish I had this lipstick, but may. That's, that's the trick, that's the trick. You just put translucent powder, um, you put it on your lipstick, and it becomes truly matte, super beautiful. And you have to be careful. Um, you go in tapping motions always. And then I remove kind of like the pigment in between because sometimes it can take a little bit of the red off your lipstick and you don't want that to go around on your lips and on your edges. But other than that, that's my tip and trick. <laughs> So tell me down below if you ever tried this tip and trick before. I would love to know. Do you use setting powder on your lips, on your eyelids, everything? I just use setting powder for literally everything uh, to blend my eyeshadow, make it beautiful. Um, there's so many uses to a translucent setting powder, not only for your face, not only to prime your face. There's so many things out there. So um, I could just make a video about setting powder to be honest <laughs> and just show you all the uses that i use it for and if you want that make sure to tell me down below i would love to do that um and if you like the video make sure to put a big thumbs up it would really mean the world to me and make sure to subscribe to my channel for a whole lot of content every single week on beauty lifestyle and more so thank you so much guys for watching i love you guys so much and i will definitely see you in the next one bye guys